Okay, this video is sponsored by Sinister Hair. Hope I'm saying that right, but mm -hmm. you guys, this actually comes in this really cute package and stuff, and I just had to go get scissors, but you take the plastic off, the box is wrapped in plastic, it's really cute, you guys, and then they send an instructional card as well as some lashes and a couple of caps and things. Mm -hmm. So this is 22 or 24 inches, I cannot remember right now, but all of that information is going to be left in the description box below as well as to where to order the hair from so as you can see this wig is very very well constructed it has two clips on the inside as well as a very very strong elastic band like this one I didn't even have to attach an extra elastic band because it literally goes all along the inside and it's it's magical yes so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, bleach these knots but I want to show you guys a little trick so most of the time people have problems with bleaching their knots a because it turns brassy and B because it leaks but if you use a clay lightning powder then you do not have to worry about it running and Joyco has this really really bomb like lightener and it is called free play and it is a clay lightener I know it looks like I'm adding a lot. If I was making a smaller batch, then I would have only put one of those beakers in. And mind you, each beaker isn't even halfway full, so I don't know why I did it, too, uh, did it twice. But anywho, um, I'm going ahead and using that, so that's not even half of a beaker that I actually use, you guys. And then I'm just going ahead, I'm going to add this whole entire pack, which would be equivalent to probably about like three scoops. If I'm not mistaken so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in there and then you guys are gonna see in a minute that this doesn't even drip okay it stays exactly where you put it I love this stuff and um Joy Coast free play lightener is also excellent for balayage that's what it's actually made for for balayage and that is basically um artistic highlights for a <laughs> lack of a better way to describe it you can just go in there and paint them on and you don't have to worry about the lightener dripping and getting on pieces of hair that you don't want it to be on that's what this lightener is made for which makes it amazing for bleaching knots okay just a little sidebar so you guys already know how this part goes you're just gonna go ahead bleach these knots then I think I let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I went ahead and rinsed it out. Um, what I rinsed it out with was um, the purple shampoo by Joyco. I'm not going to show you in this video but the next video I have coming up I'm going to show you how their purple shampoo works and toning but yes this is where we ended up so now I'm just going to go ahead and lighten up this hairline. The hairline actually wasn't that dense but I still wanted to kind of sort of you know make it a little bit more realistic and whatnot so just keep watching
now we have it looking pretty natural and as you can see is this is a really really beautiful and full wig right now i'm using kimbra's leave-in as a way to go ahead and wet this hair a little bit just so we can see some things and you can see some things this is excuse my background so next you guys with editing i want to try a couple of different styles so in this video you guys are going to see two different backgrounds and i want you to vote what do you guys like the darker backgrounds or the lighter backgrounds so just keep that in mind as you're watching this so this is how everything turned out you guys and now i am going to put this wig on now i'm not going to do full-fledged glue or anything of that nature you guys know that whenever you see wigs and stuff like that here on my channel i'm either going to show you a quick way to do it or we're going to test it out and see if these wig companies can really be colored because that is how you test things out okay so make sure you stay tuned for that but as you can see i have this wig on and what we are going to do now is the type of application that you can do if you have a really short hair like mine and my hair is short by choice I just thought I should say that okay anyway um so if your hair is short like mine and you just want to throw it on really quick so you can be cute for a really quick engagement or something like that that is what we're doing so right now I am using this leave-in and I want to say who do not make me lie who is by I'm gonna leave everything in the description box below because I cannot remember so now I'm going to do this parting and stuff like that and after I get done with the party, y'all, I'm distracted because I'm trying to do this voiceover and my husband is standing here distracting me and now I cannot remember what I'm trying to say. Oh, um, okay. So, and I'm not about to do this voiceover over again just because he was so, I'm sorry, y'all. Like, in the comments below, can y'all tell him something like, so he doesn't interrupt me when I'm trying to make videos for y'all because this is y'all time. Mm-hmm. Anywho, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put this leave-in all over my head and then I'm using this gel from Jam Yes Girl, Jam Girl, okay? I was using it when I was little and I'm not a bald head skitter dude, so I'm fine. Now, um, this jam is actually bomb. Like their gel is actually really good. It does not flake on me, it doesn't turn white, and it's almost like it doesn't have that much alcohol in it because it feels amazing like even the next day my daughter's hair will be all silky and stuff so I don't know I'm gonna try to find some um, links to it and then I'll leave it in the description box below if you guys want to try it out but I like it girl and, okay so now I'm just going to go ahead and use a very very small tooth comb and I am going to take those little fine baby hairs that I plucked out on the wig and I'm going to blend those with my hair on the Sides, okay yes so that is all I'm going to do I'm going to show you guys how to do that with a side part you know with the little swoops on the side mm-hmm girl I look kind of cute and then I'm going to go back and do a middle part and then I'll be back
where we are now you guys but the middle part it was so 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 easy just to go ahead and do this now like I said one day I will have a full fledged video where I melt lace and things like that if you guys want to see that let me know leave it in the description box below okay so now we have went from the black backdrop to the white one so you guys let me know what you think about it black or white sorry about my bald girl I was tired okay whatever i'm just gonna show y'all the hair and things okay you shouldn't be paying that much attention you should be looking at the hair anyway i'm not editing that part out everybody didn't had a little tag slip every once in a while okay but this hair came out so good it is so beautiful it's so thick and so full you guys will see another video coming up really soon because i actually want to go ahead and put some color in this wig just so we can see how bomb these curls look with a little bit of dimension in them so make sure you stay tuned for 